Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to automatically share blogger posts to social media platform. So I run a trading company and I post blogs related to the trading market, financial news or trading tips with the help of Google Blogger. I want to reach my wider audience in real time. For that, what I want is I want to share my same blog that I'm posting on my Google Blogger account on my different social media platforms. But doing this manually is going to take me a lot of time. So what I did was I simply created an automation using Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software, which requires no programming and coding skills to create an automation. In this automation, we are going to learn that as soon as we're going to post a new blog on our Google Blogger account, automatically that same blog should be created as a post on my Facebook page as well as on my LinkedIn profile and should be shared on my social media platforms. For that, what we are going to do is we are going to simply create an automation between all of these applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn to do this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to automatically share blogger posts to social media platforms. I run a trading company and I regularly publish insightful blogs on my blogger account about market trends, trading tips and financial news. Manually sharing each post on multiple social media platforms like Facebook and LinkedIn can be time consuming. So by automating this process, what I can do is I can ensure that my latest blogs reach my audience instantly without any extra efforts from my side. For example, whenever I'm going to publish a new blog post about my trading tips, the automation will immediately share it on my social media channels like Facebook page or my LinkedIn profile. This ensures that my followers can stay informed in real time, enhancing my engagement and establishing company as a go-to source for timely trading information. And in this video, we're going to learn how to create this amazing automation using Pabli Connect so that whenever I'm going to post any vlog on my Google Blogger account, automatically that same blog should be posted on my different social media platforms like Facebook or LinkedIn. So we're going to learn this amazing automation in this video and we're going to create this automation by using Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which requires no programming or coding skills in order to create an automation. So on the screen you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website we need to sign into our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you, in which you can see the five applications of Pabli, from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says Create Workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as Automatically Share Blogger Post to Social Media Platform. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Okay. Next over here it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen you can see I have created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I am going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that click on this arrow and these are the folders from which I am going to select Google Blogger Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to a workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of automatically share blogger post to social media platforms and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, we need to set up our trigger step for that click on this arrow. And for the trigger application, we are going to select it as Google Blogger. So I'm going to select my trigger application as Google Blogger. 
Google Blogger is a free platform that allows individuals and businesses to create and manage blogs easily. It provides a straightforward way to publish content online without needing any technical experience in website development. Bloggers can choose various templates and customize their blog's appearance to match their brand or style. For businesses, Google Blogger is useful because it provides a simple yet efficient platform for content marketing and brand building. So I am selecting Google Blogger because I post all of my blogs related to my trading with the help of Google Blogger, okay? And I want that whenever I'm going to post a new blog on my Google Blogger account, automatically public and it should capture the response. For the trigger event, we are going to select it as new post added as I want to capture the response of the new post or the new blog that has been added in my Google Blogger account, okay? After selecting the trigger application and the event, let's click on connect in order to connect Google Blogger to Pabli Connect. A new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection. But if you want, you can select the existing connection. After that, click on sign in with Google. As we are going to do that, a new window is going to then appear in front of you, which is asking for a permission. I'm going to click on continue as this is a safe process and my data is perfectly safe with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on continue right over here. You can see that we successfully authorized Google Blogger with Pabli Connect. After authorizing over here, firstly, it is asking for the blog ID as well as the status of the blog. For the blog ID, I'm going to open a Google Blogger account. So this is my Google Blogger account and I have created multiple IDs in my Google Blogger account. And I want that as soon as I'm going to post any blog in my My Blog ID right over here, automatically, Pabli Connect should capture the response. So what I'm going to do is for the blog ID, I'm going to select it as My Blog right over here. For the status over here, I'm going to select it as only live because I want that whenever I'm going to post any blog in my Google Blogger account and the status of the blog should be only live, then only Pabli Connect should capture the response of that blog, okay? For the status over here, you can see you can also select only draft and only scheduled if you want according to your requirement. You can select the status right over here. I'm going to select the status over here as only live. After that, you can see over it says save and send test request. As soon as you could click on this save and send test request button right over here, what is going to happen that the last blog that you have posted on your Google Blogger account with the status only live is going to be captured in our trigger response right over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a new post in our Google Blogger account and we're going to check whether public and it captures the response of that new post or not. For that, I'm going to open a Google Blogger account. So this this is my Google Blogger account and we're going to create a new post by clicking on this button. Over here you can see firstly it is asking for the title of our post. For the title of my post I'm going to write it as. So this is the title of my post that is a beginner's guide to successful trading. So this is my title of the post. Next over here it is asking for the content of my blog that I'm going to be posting. For the content over here I'm going to write it as. You can see that this is the content of my blog that I'm going to be posting on my Google Blogger account, okay? Over here, you can see that this blog has the HTML tags because in our Google Blogger account, we have to create a post with the help of HTML tags, okay? So I've written over here with the help of HTML tags. And in this blog, you can see I've also inserted an image. So this is the image right away. This is the image, okay? This is the image that I've inserted in this blog, okay? If you want to preview this blog, I'm going to click on this preview button. This is the blog that I'm posting with the help of Google Blogger, a beginner's guide of successful trading with the image right over here. Trading, a comparative guide for beginners. So this is the blog that I'm going to be posting using Google Blogger. This is the preview of the blog, okay? So now to publish this blog, I'm going to click on this publish button and on confirm. As it says, the post is published. Now I'm going to open my Pabli Connect account and now I'm going to click on save and send test request and I'm going to check whether Pabli Connect captures the response of this blog, a beginner's guide to successful trading or not. For that, I'm going to click on save and send test request. As I'm going to do that, over here you can see a response is received. In the response, we have received the response for the title, a beginner's guide to successful trading. So this is the blog that we have recently posted on our Google Blogger account and now it has been captured in our Pabli Connect workflow. Okay. Over here we have also received the URL of the blog. So I'm going to copy this URL from here, open it in a new tab. This is the same blog that I've posted using Google Blogger that has been captured in our Pabli Connect response. Okay, if you're going to scroll down, 
you can see we have received the image url that we have added in our blog that we have created with the help of google blogger and over here we have also received the content that we have posted on our google blogger account you can see this is the content that we have posted on our google blogger account so this means that we successfully connected google blogger to pabli connect and our trigger setup is done so that whenever now a new blog is going to be posted on our google blogger account automatically pabli connect is going to capture the response but if you are not going to receive the response image immediately then do not worry as over here you can see it says 8 hours this is the pulling duration as google blogger is a pulling based application that means whenever a new data is going to be collected by google blogger automatically in every 8 hours it is going to send the new data to public connect and if you want to make changes in this duration right over here then you have to click on the settings button and set trigger time as soon as you go to do that a dialog box is going to appear and over here you can choose your own trigger time right away from the followings the minimum is 90 minutes and the maximum is 24 hours i'm going to select my trigger time over here the pulling base time as 8 hours i'm going to click on save okay so if you're not going to receive the response immediately then do not worry okay so as we have completed setting up our trigger step what i want is now as the blog has been posted on my google blogger account i want to share that same blog on my different social media platforms so my audience can reach out to my content in real time so now we're going to set up our action step and as i want to share this blog on my facebook page so we are going to set up our action step for the action application i'm going to select it as facebook pages and for the action event, I'm going to select it as create page photo post. So as you can see that this is my Facebook page right over here in the name of Easy Trade. And I share my trading related blogs on this page right over here. So my audience can reach out to my content in real time. So what I want is I want to share my Google blogger post on this page right over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to set up our action step and then we are going to click on connect in order to connect Facebook pages to Pabli connect a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection. But if you want you can select the existing connection after that click on connect with Facebook pages. As we are going to do that, you can see we have successfully authorized Facebook pages with Pabli Connect. After authorizing, firstly it is asking for the page that we want to post the content on. For the page, I am going to select it as Easy Trade because I want to post my content on this page Easy Trade right over here. Okay. After selecting the page, it is asking for the photo URL. The photo URL is going to be URL of the picture that we want to post on our Facebook page. For the photo URL, what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to insert the data from the previous step of our workflow. And how it is going to happen? As soon as we click on this field, it says Google Blogger new post added. This was the previous step of this workflow. As soon as you click on it, you can see that this was the same response that was captured in our previous step. As it is asking for the photo URL in the response, you can see we have received image URL. I'm going to select this image URL from our previous response. As I've selected the data, the data is mapped over here. As I map the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the data right over here in place of this map data is going to be updated. Next, it is asking for the description of this picture. For the description, I'm going to map the date of the title of my post that I've created. And after the title, I want to enter the URL. I'm going to map the date of the URL of the post that we have published on our blogger account. So I'm going to select the URL as well right over here next to the title. Okay. After selecting the photo URL and description, I'm going to click on save and send test request button. As we are going to do that, over here we have received a response and the response that we have received is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my Facebook page and I'm going to check whether a new content has been posted on my Facebook page related to the content that we have posted on our Google Blogger account or not. For that, I'm going to open my Facebook page. I'm going to refresh this page from here. As I've refreshed the page, you can see right over here, a new content has been posted on my Facebook page. It says a beginner's guide to successful trading with a link over here. I'm going to open this link and you can see that this is the same blog that we have posted using Google Blogger. That is the link that has been attached to the description of our image. And this is the image you can see that has been posted on our Facebook page. 
so this means that it's fully connected google blogger and facebook with the help of pabli connect but now as well i want to share the same blog on my linkedin profile as well so i'm going to add another action step by clicking on this plus button and for the action application i'm going to select it as linkedin so i'm going to select my action application as linkedin and for the action event i'm going to select it as share text with image because i want to share a text that is the content with the image that we have entered in our blog okay after that i'm going to click on connect in order to connect linkedin to pabli connect a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection but if you want you can select the existing connection after that i'm going to click on connect with linkedin as we could do that you can see we have successfully authorized linkedin with pabli connect after that you can see over here firstly it is asking for the author it says author sharing the content on linkedin so for the author i'm going to select the author which is going to be sharing the content on my linkedin profile okay so i have selected the author after selecting the author over here it is asking for the image file url so i'm going to map the date of the image url from our previous step over here okay next it is asking for the text content that we want to post on our linkedin profile for the text content i want the title enter I'm going to map the date of the blog that we have posted on our Google Blogger account, the URL of that blog. Okay, so I'm going to map the text content, and next over it is asking for the visibility. I'm going to select it as public, as I want to public this content right over here. Okay, and then I'm going to click on Save and Send Test Request button. You can see over here we have received a response, and for the message it says File uploaded successfully. So now I'm going to open our LinkedIn profile. As you can see that this is my LinkedIn profile. I'm going to refresh this page. As I've refreshed the page, you can see right over here. Over here for the post, it says a beginner's guide of successful trading with the image that we have posted in our blog with the attachment of a link. I'm going to open this link, and this link takes us to the same blog that we have posted using Google Blogger. So this means that we successfully created an automation between Google Blogger, Facebook, and LinkedIn with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now, what we have done. I run a trading company and I regularly publish insightful blog posts on my blogger account about market trends, trading tips and financial news. What I wanted was that as soon as I'm going to post a new blog on my Google Blogger account automatically, I wanted to share that same blog on my different social media platforms like Facebook and LinkedIn. So now what is going to happen is that as soon as I'm going to publish a new blog on my Google Blogger account, automatically a post is going to be created in my Facebook page as well as on my LinkedIn profile with the attachment of the link of the blog that we have posted on our Google Blogger account. For that, I've created this amazing automation using Pabli Connect and this is how we create this automation. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.